did uh, two services live from down in our dining room with my wife and myself doing some worship and my wife was doing some sign language for our deaf friends and then of course we taught through um, 2 Corinthians chapter 4. So uh, I mentioned I would be back on 4.30 today and I wanted to end the day with uh, a couple of songs. Hey Tyler man, good to see you on there. Matt Smith, hey what's going on here? Still doing road day. And uh, so I got a couple of songs here that I put together into a song and my friend D. Eigenman had um, asked me to play this song. I played it in church and she, she must have got the CD and um, played it for me over the phone. And she said, can you play this song? And then she played the CD, uh, the song. I said, yeah, I wrote that song. She said, well, can you play it one uh, afternoon? So I said, sure, I will. But this song is basically two songs kind of put together. D, I'm glad you're on here because this is the song that I I'm going to do it at your request. So um, this is a combination of two psalms, and psalms are beautiful. Psalms can be a great way to end uh, our, our time together today, I think. Uh, the first psalm is very familiar to most people. It's the 23rd psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And yea, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, that feels like that right now, right? I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You have anointed my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So what a beautiful, comforting uh, psalm of, of God being our shepherd. And the other the song that I put, uh, the psalm that I put into this song I'm going to do for you here is actually from Psalm 121. Not nearly as familiar to those people. It's one of what's called a psalm of ascent. It was what people would sing on their way up to Jerusalem. They had a series of psalms that they would sing on their way up to Jerusalem. They're called Psalms of Ascent, on their ascending on their journey. And this psalm, Psalm 121, says, I will lift up my eyes to the mountains. From where shall my help come? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. You will not allow your foot to slip. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will never slumber nor sleep. God's always on the job. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun will not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will protect you from all evil. He will keep your soul. The Lord will guard your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forever. There are two psalms with some really great promises in them and so I kind of put them together with a little melody and this song is called My Help. God's our ever-present help in time of trouble, isn't it? Though I walk through the valley, you are with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they bring me comfort. No words can describe the peace you give me. When the weight of the world tries to drag me under, no wind, no rain, no weapon formed against me. Find its mark or cause me. No sin, no shame, no burning flame can find me. You are my shelter from the storm. 
I will lift up my eyes to the mountain. Where does my help come from? I will lift up my eyes to the mountain. My help comes from the Lord. I want to lift up my hands, but they are weary. I want to offer my heart, but I am When I lift up my eyes and see you near me, I rise up with wings beneath my feet. No wind, no rain, no weapon formed against me can find its mark or cause me harm. Sin, no shame, no burning flame can find me. But you are my shelter from the storm. And I will lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my I will lift up my eyes to the mountains. My help comes from the Lord. From the Lord. My help comes from the Lord. From the Lord. So that's two psalms kind of blended together, and both reminding us of the Lord's protection on our lives. It says He never slumbers or sleeps. Well, what a great protector to have. If you had somebody standing guard at your door, and you knew that at some point they are going to get tired and fall asleep, you might not feel too comfortable wondering if they were really going to be watching out for you, but... Psalm 121 says, the God who's watching us never slumbers, never sleeps. He will protect us from all evil. All evil. That includes these viruses and things that are kind of scary in our society right now. And uh, so that's the thought to take with you uh, into the rest of your Sunday. Uh, read Psalm 23, Psalm 121. Uh, tomorrow at 4.30, I'll be back on, and Marianne Coggins had asked me to specifically sing about Psalm 91, which a lot of us have been praying, and I found that verse 91, so I hope you will um, tune in tomorrow. Have a great rest of your Sunday. The Lord loves you. We love you. We'll hope to uh, talk to you soon. All right? God bless you. Take care. I'm a, I'm a, my, my man, uh, I'm a out in Missouri is locked on there. I mean, you might have missed m most of the broadcast. It'll go on a, a, on Facebook.